recovery after coming face to face with a road hazard on the way to help her that they never saw coming. New specialist Andrew Adams is live with the story you'll only see on KSL 5. Andrew? Dini, this guy had driven along Highway 6 to and from Helper and Price countless times over the past 17 years. And he says this literally hit him out of the blue. A quiet fourth would generally give people little to crow. But the old homestead here doesn't lie still by choice. In that many years, nothing happened to me until this. But I never see something like this. Carino Navarro and his wife, Luz, yeah. aren't even home. If a multiple breaks and uh, breaks in this part only, these two bones right here. They're more dependent this Independence Day. And my wife's got uh, the two bones cut in two and one, I mean, just two pieces. All after a chain of events two weeks ago, they never could have predicted. It was not even that dark or nothing. On the road to help, them, there was suddenly trouble ahead. And I see the rocks coming this way, but I, nothing I can do about it. Apparently jarred loose by a storm, the rocks were tumbling down a cliff, and Navarro couldn't dodge all of them. Come straight up. I mean, not from the front, from the side. Come straight from the sky in like this. So I have no even chance to do anything. One way it hit us is not, not less than 120 pounds. The Navarros may have been prepared for a lot. Yeah, yeah, but not for 200 pound rock. And multiple fractures later, facing months of recovery, they sit in a care facility. <laughs> as their SUV stands silently at home without them. It had clearly seen plenty of fireworks. Just coming right straight to the cars. That's what happened. On this July 4th, there's ample reason to squawk <coughs> about the danger they didn't know existed. This is what happened. While simply hoping one day to be free to go home. What else can we do? Yeah. Well, Navarro says the doctors are telling him it could take up to a year before his leg is fully recovered fractures in his femur and the other bone in his thigh. He's wondering if engineers might be able to take a look at the issue in that canyon, but otherwise he's telling people to slow down and to look out because it really has the potential occasionally to take somebody by surprise. Back to you. All right, Andrew, thank you.